there's been a huge amount of activity really hugging the river. Um, I think people have really bought into what the government are doing in terms of um, redeveloping the Avon River. And I think my, well, my view is that we will see quite a lot of economic activity hugging that, that area and moving down towards the retail precinct as well. This particular precinct covers a lot of range of things. So we've obviously got my bars and restaurants, and it's two-storey bars and restaurants with a central promenade that runs through the middle. Nobody's really done that properly in the southern hemisphere. They have one set of steps that goes up to one bar. No, no, this is up, and you'll be able to go from one to the other through the central walkway that's open with bridges between villages, and you'll be able to look out down on people. So that's a very important part of this precinct. More than probably 50% of the site will actually be open to the public. I don't collect rent off it, so a lot of space given back to the public. We'll have these walkways that run straight through the block with a huge big central piazza that we all flow into, and it'll be the happening, the meeting place of Christchurch Centre City. My wife thinks I'm um, a little crazy, but uh, never mind, we're doing it, it's a challenge, and there is an opportunity here to build something really quite special for the central city of Christchurch that will compare with anywhere in the world. We're taking on an enormous job trying to get Christchurch back on its feet again and I think the people who are doing most of the development at the moment are doing it as much with a passion for Christchurch as they are to, for the money. We're constructing buildings anywhere from probably about two and a half thousand dollars a metre to maybe you know three thousand seven hundred dollars a metre so um, which is pretty challenging for owners, which considering a lot of them are chasing the same rental dollars. Um, I think a lot of the buildings that have actually, that we're seeing up, coming out of the ground at the moment are mainly focused on the uh, A-grade tenants in the market. It's really vital that we actually got those tenants as close to the city centre as we could. I mean, they make up a huge amount of the economic activity in the city. Um, the next challenge for the industry will be how do we build modern, safe, enjoyable places for people to work at an affordable level. I looked at all of the different systems that were being used internationally. I took advice both locally and internationally, and this seemed to be the, the best solution. Um, it, it's a little more expensive, but it's a gold-plated safety system for a building of this, of this nature. What we're seeing behind us, this is all low damage design. First in the world, this is two-way hinge joint, low damage design, never been done anywhere in the world. These buildings will stand up to any sort of earthquake. Don't care what hits us. A surprising amount of confidence can be gained by a property owner who's unsure, just simply meeting their neighbour and getting some confidence about what they're doing. If they're going to go, well, I might go at the same time. You get some economies around uh, construction cost, but you're also more likely to secure a tenant who uh, feels more comfortable about occupying a building where there is one next door. I didn't own this site. I owned other sites in Christchurch that were affected by the earthquake, but I specifically went looking for a particular piece of property. And to me, I saw that the river is going to be the key for the future development of Christchurch. We don't have a harbour, but we've got a fantastic river here with a park opposite me, believe it or not. So it's a wonderful, wonderful experience being around the river. Uh, it's very relaxing for locals to come down here and have their lunch. Um, and as I said, for tourists to come down and see it. The river's pretty much anywhere you go in Christchurch. If you walk around, you'll see it. And to be able to utilise it also as part of a navigational route, a spine towards what will be happening here in the future, should be massive to everybody within town. It's going to be, obviously with us being on the river, it's, it's huge to us. It's absolutely, cannot understate exactly how huge it's going to be. What's exciting for me is that we will have overcome a hell of a lot of difficulties. We've built it and we've got it operating as a viable and positive centre in, in, the, in the middle of Christchurch. I'm really confident that the city that we're going to see is going to be world class. It will take a little bit longer than what we thought originally, but I guess the scale of what we were trying to do is completely unprecedented anywhere in the world. So um, what's been done to date, I'm, I'm extremely ecstatic about. Um, and really excited to see how it's going to go in the next five to ten years as well.